What's up, guys? I feel like I've been putting so much time lately into trying to make money that I've been neglecting myself. And that's why today, I'm gonna spend, spend some, some time, time fulfilling, fulfilling my deepest, darkest design. Like flipping my own base, milking villagers, and even creating an industrial animal slaughterhouse. But before I do this, guys, we actually need to go upstairs because there's something even more important that must be accomplished immediately. If I can flip regular bases, I should be able to flip my own and at least make it... I forgot about that pickaxe. I should be able to at least make it more livable. Let's get this roof cleaned up first. Okay, I'm just thinking. I could be a little more efficient about this. I should finish this beacon. On the auction house, there may be some ore we could buy. 83,000 for 64 of them. That seems like relatively not the worst deal, and that's literally all I need the rest of the series. See, guys, that's why we flip bases, so that we can do stuff like this. We can just spend $84,000 like it's nothing. All right, this whole thing is going to need to move, so let's get this cleaned up. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! Hello, you comfy? Hi. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's get this sucker cleared out. I'm actually a little bit worried now that this is a lot bigger than I had expected. And if it is, it's gonna cost us a lot of money. Hi. Okay. Hey. All right, bro. Oh my God, I love you guys, but I need to record this. Come here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. In order to build this max size, dude, I'm gonna literally need to spend like an immense amount of money to be able to pull this off. How much would it be if I went to the regular shop? So I need a shop level of eight to buy those. Currently, my shop level is four. It cost me $150,000 and 30 minutes to update my shop, right? As you level up the shop, you get more things to buy. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the rest of this while I brainstorm how exactly to recover from the giant blunder that I seem to have made. I mean, I'll buy this. That's 13 more. I mean, for $11,000, I guess it's not terrible. Let's see if I could buy a rune to make mining easier. Maybe I could do this. I don't know. There is a special rune here that I am contemplating purchasing for $300,000, but I'm going to buy it. This item has just a 63% chance of actually working, which means if it fails, I lose all my money. But there is a way by buying special things that are called lucky gems. By buying these items called lucky gems, we can actually increase the odds of this succeeding. Woo, there goes another 200,000. So in total, I just spent $500,000. I'm just gonna be honest with you. That was incredibly stupid. There's just no way around it. That was a bad move, bad deal, but I'm gonna increase the odds here. And this has 83% chance of playing. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say this right now. If this fails, I will literally scream so loud. Just do it. Oh, yes. oh my God, it worked. This now allows us to have a low chance to gain runes when I break ore. I mean, this is so incredible. And I just, you know, it, it's, I'm a, oh, we got one already. We got we just get that, it's just free money. Now I can identify these for a little bit of experience by going to the rune infuser. I identify it and look at that. We just got Airwalker 3. Allows you to double jump on your boots. I actually need it. I'm gonna put it on. It didn't work, but that's okay because it was free. So before I go potentially mine, I'm gonna go stop by Isaac's base and see if maybe I could buy an immense amount of iron from him. Hello. Oh, what's up, Zach? Hey, I'm gonna stop by real quick. I got a serious offer to make for you, man. Serious offer, I'm listening, come over. Do you have any iron for me to buy? Ah, oh, Zach. I hate to tell you, but I literally have zero iron. I'm leaving. I hate you. God, I can't find any. Uh, yeah, I can't help you. I want to show you guys the journey of how painful this is to actually obtain this mega size beacon, which is not even the actual goal. It's just crazy. Let's go mine for a short period of time and see if maybe we could get iron faster than it would be to like make money selling carrots to buy it. Let's go test it out. Rare hidden rune. It gets me excited when I do that. Maybe it's something good. Here we go. 6,000 experience. We got checkpoint three. Double click on the floor while crouching to bind a location. Get teleported after... Whoa, what the heck? It teleports you back? I'm going to put it on my pants. It's not a great chance of success. That's sick. Oh, I did it. So I just double clicked. The timer started. And now if I double... Oh, it takes you right back. That's so weird. I'm sure there's some way I could abuse that later in the future. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're going home. All of that got us just enough to make about three of these. Okay, so this is gonna, this is gonna hurt a lot. I'm just gonna gently. <laughs> All right, that gave us 45 of these. This is not even gonna remotely be close. It might do a single layer. Hey, okay, here we go. I mean, each one gets slightly less, so it's eight by eight, so I only need 65. Why am I doing this again? There's no reason for me to be doing what I'm doing. I mean, this is not worth it. My base isn't even large enough. I'm not at $200,000, I'm making a mistake. Wait a minute, something's incorrect here. <gasps> no, I added an entire extra row that I didn't even need. I mean, I guess I'm kind of happy because that means I get the items back, but like relatively speaking, I should not have made a mistake of this, this fortitude. Anyway, let's get this sucker topped off here and uh, one day we'll upgrade this to another right. I mean, it gives us more range and I guess if I ever need jump boost, I can make like some smaller ones, I guess, you know? Mega beacon right there. That's about over a million dollars I put into that. Let's get back to it. I mean, not everything has to work out exactly. It's good. There's gonna be a reason. Everything happens for a reason probably. 
This guy really needs to stop making noise. I like having you back here. I don't like all the whining you're doing, okay? Ah, that's enough out of you. So far, we've really just made my base look a significant amount worse. Now, the good news is I finally have a decent supply of coal here, which I have not had for the entire season. So I'm gonna use this to start smelting some of this stone. I really like the way that stone looks when you cut it up. All right, six of these copper blocks. We're gonna use this on the inside of the base here. I think that it would just make a nice little piece. One, two, three, four, five, just like that. All right, let's go ahead and get this roof in. Keep it simple for now. I just got an idea. Can't I actually expand my beacon by like a layer and actually add another beacon onto that beacon and then get like other benefits from it with like max boost? Let's see if this works. Isn't it if I put another beacon here, it'll work? I need to buy another beacon and that's gonna also cost a lot of money. None of this is worth it. Uh, oh, two for 35 or one for 90. I guess we're buying two. See, that's what you're looking for. You got two beacons, you activate the second one, then you get haste and jump boost. That's a dub. I don't even notice it. Is it even on? That's it. It's hardly recognizable. And uh, boy, a 250 block range, bro. That thing's probably over there cooking up for Isaac. Why is it that when I flip another person's base, I do so good when I flip my own, I feel like it doesn't look that good. That already looks about 25% better. What am I gonna do about this? I just have two beacons freaking going through my floor. Why did I build it there? Now we just gotta get the walls and I should probably, like I said, get some food in my body. Do I have any food in my vegetation chamber? Hey, there it is. This wall doesn't really serve a purpose anymore. I mean, this giant mega hallway we made doesn't even seem like it's just, it's changing. This wall needs cleaned. See, the interesting thing is we actually still have like a giant room over here from earlier when I dug this thing out for an old spider spawner and it's no longer really in use as anything. To me, it's got chest room potential. I kind of like that. We could clean this out, put the chest down there. This seems like a healthy way to spend more money in my base to upgrade it. I'm happy with this. There we go, 45 of them, that should be good. So we'll actually make it in the ground. You never see anything like this. All right, so I'm not really sure. Like, what is a classy flooring in terms of a chest room? We can do more stone. I mean, stone's always classy. It's always a classy piece to put some stone. Let's do, let's do a little stone. Slabs, baby. One of my favorites is the ring around the posy, just like that. Bam, bam, wham. You see these little blocks? You think, dang, that dude's class. That guy's got money. Like, that's what we're going for. There we go. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got ourselves enough space. Then all we have to do is destroy the entire walls and replace those new blocks. That'd be fun. All right, that looks nice. I mean, the thing is, I like that on the side, but I just don't know what to do about this because it's so unbelievably uneven. Well, I know one thing for sure. We, we don't even need to worry about that for a bit. So now we just need to get 27 item frames, which is an immense amount of item frames. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. So I gotta clean up the walls up here before anything else though. And the whole middle floor. Hey Isaac, why don't you uh, come check out the newest additions to the base? Okay, Zach, give me like two minutes and I'll be there. Probably not even that. All right, all right, I'm ready. What if I made this a multi-purpose room? Like it was a bedroom plus the chest room. This could be a terrible. It just looks like a dungeon, bro. It just straight up looks like somewhere you would like torture bodies. I guess we're gonna keep it because that's kind of my bar, but still weird. Hey, there he is. That is 100% a trap. I almost fell for that. That is one of those drip leaves. He was 100% trying to kill me right there. I'm going around that. Welcome, buddy. Dude, you almost got me. Was that a trap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I almost fell for it, dude. I was going down the stairs and I saw it and I was like, that thing's going to fall. So I went around. Oh man, check this out. This cost me about a million bucks to make. Whoa, <laughs> it literally. Dude, you should have built that closer to my base. Yeah, maybe if you pay me half the money, I'll consider it. 75% of the money. At that point, I just buy my own. Was iron the cheapest way to do this? I don't know. Can you use copper? I, I don't think, I'm not sure. But come check a look at my base. I'm trying to give the base a little facelift today. Uh, I want your honest thoughts. It's under construction, keep in mind. Okay. Yeah, I saw this when I came in. This looks pretty nice. I feel like it doesn't mesh well with the front of the base though. Are you going to be changing this? I have no idea. I'm really not sure how to make this mesh well. You really had like this whole base and then you just said, nope, screw that color palette. We're changing to a completely new one. I really did. And I'm not, I'm, you know what I mean? Like I'm kind of in this weird spot now where I don't know how to fix that. I just think the only way to fix that would be to just make this a wall and then like hide this behind it. So add the wall back that I got rid of. I think the wall has to be there because right now, I mean, this is, this is jarring to look at. Or, or, or you close this off and then change everything behind the door to that. Oh yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Change the vibe in here. Yeah, that's maybe what I would do. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. I'm gonna do that. Good, I needed some help. I'm gonna work on that. Thank you. All right, did you see what I did? Look out to the left, Zach. I have every single type of tree over there. Oh, nice. That's gonna be helping for some future base flips. That's pretty good. You need to buy the tree feller ax. There's a tree, an ax enchantment where if you use it, it automatically breaks trees like forever. I thought that was like an ability like super breaker. And a rune, it's both. You need to get the rune. Okay, I want that. Go get it. So I'm gonna clean this floor up then and then maybe this base will actually look a little bit better let's go ahead and buy some i think dark oak this should really pull it together 
That looks a lot better in here. I mean, it looks immensely better than what it was before this. I like this. So I'm giving it like a nice little dark trim. I feel like I finally have a little direction on the base. A little like chocolate, little Oreo. Gives it like a nice, good, just exciting flavor. Let's do a little more. Get this all the way around here and clean it up. Okay, it's kind of cool. So we have like a nice little, <laughs> I just turned to grass on the inside of my base. We have a nice little trim now on the inside. I feel like this copper looks incredibly ugly. I thought it'd be kind of like clean, but it just looks bad. We're gonna get rid of that. There we go. Okay, okay. All right, leather frames are basted. We have 64 plus 10 remaining. We have a new ladder going up right here because that was too close to be able to place them. Now we can actually move everything down and organize them. This will be fun. Wood, dirt, a stone. This is freaking kind of relaxing, actually, but kind of brutal. The rain really helps. Now, my organizational system doesn't really make any sense. I'm not really sure why stuff's just random. I got like some useful stuff over here. And then like on the left side is like less useful stuff. Finally, an actual functioning chest room. I would love to now go through this and just really quickly make a mini trash can so that I can trash some of the items I don't need. Lava. Then I'm gonna grab myself a simple trap door. And look at this, guys. I'm gonna put things away where they go correctly now that I have the opportunity. Honestly, it's a new day. I feel a little bit more motivated now when it comes to building and flipping the base. But what I, what I do hate the most is this weird door because it's really not centered. So I'm going to bust this whole wall out here in my base. I'm going to bust these out, which I placed back in episode one. I want to turn this into something a little bit more beautiful here. And I don't exactly know what, but what I do know is what I currently have is not going to work for me. So I'm going to take all that out. I'm going to probably destroy my base here. So if I just color match this to the rest, put a bunch of dark wood here and then maybe some more stone here. I think this will create like a nice like walkway path or something that I can turn into something nice. I think we'll take this out. It's going to explode one of these times. It's going to explode. Don't not by the glass. I swear to God. <sighs> Wow, we're getting really lucky. So that flattens that area off so it looks just a little bit nicer. And then we'll do our flooring here and then the rest of our wall. And then I could bust this wall out here. Maybe. Make it like a little tiny barrier. It's definitely better. Let's keep cleaning this up though. And then if I have a little bit of this black colored stone to finish. I do, I do. I thought I had none of it. And then you organize your chest and you find out you have a lot. It's like one of the greatest feelings ever. I could use slabs here, but I'll go ahead and splurge because I can. All right, that to me looks a lot better. I mean, we have like an actual nice kind of functioning hallway. And what's even cooler is this is now centered. I want to do a couple more things before I go see what Isaac's doing today on the treehouse because he's really trying to like be a master of wood today. Obviously this. Okay, I don't really know what that's gonna be, but I feel like that's an interesting spot for like some sort of like secret room. But I can't finish it because I need to get a secret way down to the skeleton grinder, mostly because if I don't do that, then my entire pickaxe that I spent millions of dollars on is gonna break. What I think would make the most sense is maybe make sort of an exit, maybe like right here in the center. So the, that's the, literally the grinder directly below us. So I feel like, mm, I feel like a ladder's kind of mid, but yeah, I think we're gonna do ladder. I think this will just make life a little easier for me couple doors. Now that is a unique design. You literally do not see bases like this too often. But what I like about it is this is going to take us all the way down to Industrial Avenue. It's just like a super easy entrance point. The only issue is really that like to get up there is like not exactly the easiest thing, but that's okay for now. Let's go ahead and get some uh, levels back on this bad boy. Wow. Look how much experience that just yielded. Literally full health. That's incredible. What a great investment I made on this. I mean, that's so worth it. Oh, you know what would be sick here? To make this a villager area to trade with villagers. Because then I'd have like all my essentials like in this weird area. All right, well, I need to find like a zombie villager and cure it then. If I ever get one, I'll trap it. Sometimes they're down here. So uh, I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of flooring in for now. I love it, dude. It's such an unexpected spot to just have like a little torture cage. Because when people come in, they'll see this as a wall and they won't realize that cemented behind it will be a giant thing of villagers. We're not ready for them yet though. What we are ready for though, is to start working on another expansion. So this is my very first hopper that I've bought yet on the server. I can finally put this hopper underneath the skeletons and create an actual system to collect these items. So I think what we'll do is uh, we'll take it down here. We're gonna put this right on a beautiful hopper. I want this to be something that I could frequently come into and I will need a little crafting table here. Let's make some chests and then just like that. So then I'll go to the shop and I'll buy one more hopper for $21,000 and I'll just make this a two hopper system. That way it just lasts a little longer. I don't need to expand it much more in my opinion past this. So now, theoretically, if I kill them, the drops that I don't pick up will fall down in there. Let's see. Okay, why are they spitting out the edge? That's not really the full purpose. Should I close this, maybe? Because you technically don't need all of these other side angles. That was like a little bonus thing that I did for literally no reason. So let's try this. That looked a little better. Let's go see if we got the items downstairs. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, it's not connected. 
All right, I think it should be working now. So now what I can do is again, sell all these items for hundreds of dollars. I mean, it's like a thousand bucks for free. It's just gorgeous. And you can even reach it from here. That's pretty nice. So now in theory, those should be down here. Yes. That's so nice, dude. What a sick upgrade. All right. What do you guys, uh, can I get some advice by the way? What should I do to this corner? I really don't know yet. Let's go check Isaac's out. Then we'll work on that build. Greetings, sir. Oh, what's up? Just came to stop by to check out this gargantuan build you got here. Tell me a little bit about what's going on. So that's my tree farm. And then behind you is my rainbow sheep farm. And then this thing, this big like little stone brick thing is my mob spawner. Oh, do you have a base yet? Kinda, it's just kind of, it all flows together as one, Zach. It's all my base, you know? Well, I'm telling you what, I'm working on a little something right now, a surprise, and I know you are as well. So I want to challenge you to see who can build the best surprise build. Whoever's build is best wins $10,000. Best surprise build. Now, what, what does that mean? Does it have to be like unique or can it just be like- I worded that really badly. What I mean is whichever build is cooler by the end of today's video gets money from the other. Okay, deal. I wager 100 grand. All right. Well, that's 10 times more than I said. Let's do it. 100 grand. 100 grand, baby. Good luck. Okay, guys. I did not plan on doing that. I'm very... <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't plan on it either. A little bit more money than I hoped because that's a lot of mine. But the thing is, I have nothing to show for it. What I'd like to do here is like mega animal farm as well. But can I build another one of these for animals and would it work? I'm going to set a new home down here to my chest shop so I can work back a little bit quicker. And I'm going to pick some blocks and I'm going to tempt that build. Yeah, we're going to buy out a cobblestone. I know it's a cheap block. Maybe one day we'll upgrade it when I'm richer, but I don't even know if it's going to work. Let's go ahead and just try. Let's see. So they drop, then the pillar, and then one, two, three, and then the wall. So then it'd be wall, and then it'd be one, two, three, and then the pillar. I really hope this works. This is going to be the area they fall. This is very challenging to even like get somewhat correct here. I'm not even really sure. Like I'm just trying to exactly match the dimensions here, but the floor has to be made of grass. So all of this actually has to go away so that I can get grass in here. And I don't know if it's going to even spawn mobs because I'm not hundred percent sure if they need light to spawn from a spawner. So this could be a total waste of money and I might lose a hundred thousand dollars to a wager I shouldn't have made. It's going to be very fun. We have this all correct. Now all we really have to do is create the border on the side, which is gonna be the wall that holds the water in. So I'm just gonna make it one tall. So there's that. Next step would be getting these spawners placed. And this isn't even somehow. What? Oh, my hole's not right. My hole goes here. That's the hole slot. There we go. Okay, so the hole is just incorrectly built. So now here's what I'm gonna try. I guess we'll wait and see if these spawn. If it, if it really doesn't, I gotta really think about how to solve this because that's gonna be an issue. Okay, see, this is how I lose $100,000. So what I did is I lowered them all. This seems to work. The question for me becomes, will they spawn if there's water? Okay, down they go. I don't I don't know, man. If this works, it'll be great. If not, I'm gonna be really sad. So they're falling into this hole here. So we'll go ahead and just seal this on up to the top, just like this. That's the concern. I think they need actual regular grass to spawn on. I literally have to invent something that's never been done before, like as far as I know. So yeah, okay. So they definitely are not spawning on non-grass items. The only way I can think of to actually make this work was to be to put a dispenser here with a bucket. They turn on, flow them down, and then when they're down there, they'll turn off. So I'm gonna go back to my chest shop. I think this is gonna be crazy, but it might win the competition because redstone is something that we don't really use a lot. I don't even have a redstone chest. I should probably make one of those. Can I buy the redstone stuff I need? So I will do two dispensers. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put water in the corners for now that's stationary. I'll put water here. I'll put water here. And then I'll put a dispenser here. And then I'll put a dispenser here. And then this will have a bucket of water. And then this will have a bucket of water. And then all I have to do then would be, in theory, is line these bad boys up with a little bit of redstone magic. So now these dispensers are hooked up. So when I push a button, these will like dispense water and wash stuff down. I think all we have to do now is to bring this down to a lever maybe. So I think it'd be really nice to have like the lever here or here. Oh my god. Okay, so there's a lot of issues here. First off, we're blowing everything up. Second off, the lava moat's killing us. But we're now about where we want to be with this redstone contraption. And then all I need to do is somehow bring it down, which I think I could do right in the middle. All right, let's see if that redstone signal reaches. Doesn't quite reach. Okay, we need one more repeater. This repeater will go here. There we go. Oh. That's not good. How about that? Just destroyed on the redstone. <laughs> well, that's funny. Okay, so let's try this out. I turned this off, and if this works, that just turned off all the water up here, which meant there was grass. And when there's grass, the mobs can spawn. So then they spawn for a second, and I flick the lever again, and then they fall down the chute when the water should turn on again. Then once they flow down, once they're in the chamber, then they can continue to spawn inside of these little item stacks here of, of pigs. So now it says two and six, it should continually increase, which means I think we actually created a fully functional system here that now actually makes it really cool to have an industrial farming way to get like things. You can stand here, harvest them, or wait till they stack up, turn it off, let them spawn and repeat. While I'm here, I might as well come over to this and go ahead and grab some experience really quickly and test this out. Wow, look at that. 
That's some good money right there. All right, let's see how much that sucked up. Nice. Okay. Very happy with how this has turned out so far. The only thing I don't like is how horrendously ugly this looks, but that's for a future problem to solve. I think what would make this look better is first off, get rid of all the cobblestone. Second off, make like a nice path that goes through. Third off, give it just a little bit of a facelift, mostly focusing on this area, the ground, and this wall. Okay, that's gonna be like roughly the path. I think a one wide path's good because then it's even on either side. I'm gonna buy spruce logs. I know, it's basic, but it looks good. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but this looks a million times better than what it was before. And then I kind of want to do something about this because we got this giant thing here. It looks absolutely disgusting. I, I don't know. Maybe it needs like a glass wall. It needs something that like just gives it some kind of like good feeling to it. You know what I mean? I could do glass panes. I mean, that's kind of basic, but I look good. It looks better because it kind of gives it like this science, like the little display case when you're down here. Like, oh, what's that? The only way to get here would be through this, which is no longer to the dungeon. It's now the access door to this room. Well, now it's blown up. Now you've got a beautiful access panel here. You've got a little trap door to make sure nobody unauthorized goes in. Let's go ahead and name it the beacon access closet. And you see, that's cool because in this time we've now collected 44 pigs and 16 chickens. We can come here, we can slaughter them. We can collect all that beautiful meat. And then we can pop that meat over here into, you see how this is all coming together. You can pop that over into here where we can get infinite supports of fuel. We can load this fuel up. We just need a lot of buckets. And now it's really starting to come together. And you can see the vision of industrial Avenue is nothing short of absolutely insane. So my next thought is now that these are loaded up, what if I actually put item frames on the outside of these and marked what the item would be for? We could do something like this on the very top. And then inside of this, we could do something like, you know, this one's for like, this is like a, a, a food row, for example. Everything in here needs to be chicken. And then this one becomes your pork shop channel. So now really all we need is a great bucket storage system. And I think the best way to do that is just to put a barrel right here in the corner. Pop that down, put all your buckets inside. And I guess you want to add a little organization as well to the outside so you know that that's your bucket chamber. And then I'm actually going to take down this entire thing. Like the entire thing, I'm going to move it all the way over to here. It's really annoying to have to walk all the way over there. So I'm thinking if I do a little something like this, that will be like really sick to just get lava when you need it. I just love that idea. So I'm going to try it. So that all sips in there. I'll grab some buckets. We'll go grab all that lava and we'll destroy this thing. And we will then put it on the top. See, that looks kind of cool because I kind of made it stick out over the slab. So then it's extremely efficient because you can now walk inside. Your lava is literally falling right in front of you. So you can get your bucket fill up very quickly, pop it into one of these smelters. And now you've got like literally probably the most efficient smelting setup I can imagine other than making it an auto furnace, which isn't allowed on the server. Now I forgot that I had all of these in here for that shop I set up to scam Isaac. I want to put them away real quick. Is that Zach? did not go the detail route that we went. I think he went big. And so- it's Okay, I just snuck in to hear what he was saying. Since he thinks that we didn't go the detailed route, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of decorations last minute to really surprise him with a ton of details that he wouldn't expect. I'm gonna get a couple paintings, a couple pots. Let's see, some barrels. Oh, that looks terrible. He's right, I really didn't go the detailed route. That kind of is hurting me a little bit. Let's get some flowers. I think if I got a couple more barrels, it would go a long way. And then I just need to get some quick trap doors here. Oh, a stone cutter for sure. This is literally, what I'm doing right now isn't even for me. This is just purely because Isaac said that I wouldn't be detailed and I heard him and he didn't think I heard him. So now I got to put all this in here so that it looks more detailed so I win. Aldrin right there. That, a little bit of chest, a little bit of aldrin. These are great detail blocks, bro. This is how you win it right here. This is how you win it. Some of these. All right, this is where things start to really step up. So all of these always go underneath because I think that is a necessary layer of depth. Some flowering azaleas for our little park area back here. We'll do some flowers. And then in that, we'll do a little bench and then some sweet berry bushes, some bamboo. I have two shroom lights that I can use to lighten the place up. We'll do the floor here. Have a few more. So this room looks a little better with that nice little flooring detail we've got down. I think this would look good if I had an infinite water source as well right here. <laughs> look at all the freaking stuff I'm putting down here just to beat him, dude. It's ridiculous. How much more time you want? 10 minutes. 10 minutes, guys. That is when the reveal is and we'll see who is getting the $100,000. All right. All right, so those 10 minutes, I gotta get kind of some of the low hanging fruit out of the way. This wall's ugly, this wall's ugly. I think those are like the last two things I can do. Let's go ahead and knock this out ASAP. All right, that's a very easy dub right there, putting in something like this. I mean, it's just so simple and pretty and just brings a lot of nice color and life to the area. The dirt looks bad and this pillar and this pillar both look bad because of the random combination of different blocks. So I cannot risk it anymore. I'm actually gonna grab my other uh, pickaxe. It's not gonna blow stuff up. And then over here, same thing, make it look better. 
Are there any other low-hanging fruit besides this disgusting area which has literally no purpose? I think for all intents and purposes, the best solution right now is to simply seal it off and not even let anyone know it's there, all right? The best solution is just to get rid of it. Oh yeah, gotta have the big painting. That's gonna be a secret room, no doubt. If I had two signs, which I do, I can make that a secret room right now. I can make a real quick secret room here. <laughs> it's gonna shoot him when he walks in. Look at that. What's even crazier is you're gonna walk in, this thing's gonna launch fireballs at you. I don't know if it shoots it through the wall, but if it does, that'd be even cooler. Cause then you'd have a literal true stealth launcher from back in there. I really didn't expect Industrial Avenue to turn into like Beauty Park today, but now it's a Beauty Park. We've actually got 21,000 experience. So while we're here, we could use the uh, Rune uh, Infuser. So maybe buy a $20,000 rare room and see what we get. Maybe we'll get some money. Dasher five maxed. Dash across landscape every 20 seconds while sprinting. I feel like that could be useful, but also annoying. Greetings. All right, Zach, you wanna take a late yours first today? All right, guys, here's the first presentation. My base, Isaac, I made a couple of changes to my base. This beacon is nice, I'm jumping all high. Oh yeah, I know, it is very nice. The inside, this is the basic, all right? I've just kind of expanded it, pushed the wall back a little bit, uh, nothing too crazy. All right, this is kind of ugly to be honest. This little archway looks good, but the, the stone is really throwing me for a loop here. Yeah, I kind of gave up on this, uh, but this is the new chest room. Okay, you know what, Zach? You have a lot more storage, but mine is definitely looking better, I feel like. I can confidently say that. What I really want to show you today, Isaac, is the new and improved Industrial Avenue 2.0. This is the 100 grand wager, Zach. Let's see it. Look at this. We've completely revamped the security system. We've added an entirely new floor. Beautiful decoration showing the very first plants I've harvested. Oh, I like that. I will definitely be adding those to mine if I ever get that block. Those look good. We've added a brand new custom created redstone powered animal harvesting system. Show it to me. Take a look. By pressing this button, this redstone triggers to turn on and off water. Now that that's done, these will continue to spawn down here and it solves the problem of not being able to have a mob farm. No, oh, we got a jam up here. We have got a jam, Zach. No, there's no jams. It doesn't jam. No, there's a jam. Come up here. I'm watching it. There's no jams. Look at the there's fat no, pig and the chicken. They, they can't never, decide who to go down. Never happened. See? Wow, so it doesn't even work. That's never happened. It just did, so it definitely has happened. We've got a beautiful, relaxing space in the back to vibe. I like I like how you just committed to the cave, Zach. You just said, this is a cave, I'm not gonna hide it. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. And then we've got this little like mini crafting zone for just some emergency crafting. But the newest addition is I've removed and changed our lavas to this. Oh, it's a little bit nicer. Yeah, it is a little bit nicer. You grab a couple buckets, you load them up, and if you look at the roof, you've actually got an organized system for what goes smelting in each area. Oh, I like it, Zach. This is this is good. One more thing. Oh, through the painting. That's right. Oh, you got a captive blaze. Now that's pretty difficult. It's a secret blaze launcher. Look at that, huh? I do like that. And a little, little access to your furnaces back here too. That's right, secret access. It's a little panic room if you ever need it. This is very nice. Oh, one other thing. Oh, it just keeps showing stuff, dude. You did a lot. I did quite a bit. I did quite a bit. One of my biggest issues was killing these guys and then having to collect their items. So I built an automatic collection system down below. And this is what I've collected since I've been building down here. Wow, man, now I have one skeleton spot and I think I've gotten like maybe 16 bones and that's it. Not too bad, huh? That's pretty good. Oh, you have a hundred skeletons up there. And we've also updated the giant piston or the giant beacon by adding a secondary beacon to it by expanding by one. So we have haste and jump boost. Okay, I am jealous of the beacon, but you didn't do that today. So I can't add that into the build battle, you know? I, I did expand it, but let's, I did, ex okay, dang it. God, I hate this trap. All right, my base is now officially ready for visitors, Zach. You can go ahead and teleport to me right now. All right, let's see what Isaac's done. So this is the new storage room for Isaac Industries right now. Now this wasn't part of the build. It was just the interior here today. Oh, cool. You put, oh. We have all of our, our custom items around here. You know, we also have some armor stands that are going to be replaced when I get good armor, but I don't have any yet, so. Okay, that's, that's it. I, actually, this is very creative. In the middle is our centerpiece item. It is our Koi pickaxe. It's the best custom model I have. So that's what went there. Okay. Nether portal here to the right, because I didn't have another portal, so. I've, I've never actually seen a freaking storage room like this. I'm not gonna lie. Up here, we got a nice little extra entrance, which we have to, we'll eventually detail this out, but it leads to a secret cave and waterfall. Wow, okay. And then if you go back down, Zach, out of our central area, we have our actual storage room right here. And then this chest right here at the end will be our God chest where all of our good stuff goes. Not a lot of storage space, but very cool. It reminds me of like a Skyrim build, honestly. Yep, so this is what I did today. I think, you know, I got you beat on the details, but you have me beat on the scale. So I think the viewers are gonna have to decide. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, guys. Drop a comment below who won and tell us why. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.